In this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to use clipping masks to save time during your Photoshop workflow. So basically, what are clipping masks? A clipping mask is basically more of a selection that is going to affect a particular target area that you have previously selected in your images. So let's see how a clipping mask works and how we can use it to save time so that we don't go ahead or go all over selecting a particular area to add an effect to it so the very first thing i'm just going to do i'm going to come and make sure i select at this i add a selection rather to particular areas in the images because there are times when you want to add an effect to a particular area but you're limited because that effect may apply to the rest of the image for example if at all i wanted to brighten up this are the legs of the model i could just there are times when you just come to a brightness and you simply push it up all the way then to require you to invert this layer and you come to your brush and get the normal brush tool and get white and simply come and paint over where you want to brighten but this is going to be a more tiresome step then there are those cases whereby maybe you want to Add a color balance adjustment to that selection so in this case you're not going to be able to add that because it is going to be affecting the overall image so with a clipping mask you're going to be able to make a selection that is you're going you're going to be making one selection in particular areas of the image that you want to affect so I'm just going to come and get my quick selection tool and come and roughly select uh, the hands and the legs if at all i wanted to brighten up these particular areas then hold down the alternate to deselect or subtract selections from the areas i don't want to be affected so just like that and i think just going to come and select this so i'm basically doing a rough selection so this is the selection where we want to add these effects to so in order to add these effects, I'm going to come to the adjustment layer right here. Then I could come to my brightness and simply push up the brightness to brighten up the fit. And it is only going to be affecting these areas. So there are those cases whereby you want to maybe add a color balance to this very area right here. So maybe you just want to tweak around the colors in this previously selected area so if at all you don't clip that effect you're going to be able to or you'll have to go through the selection process yet again so but with this selection already made i could come to uh, the selective color maybe then we have this option so a clipping mask can just be activated by clicking right here or you can simply come between these layers right here so we have the layer that contains selective color and brightness and contrast so when you hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and you click between this you're going to be able to clip this effect and you'll have this arrow pointing on this layer right here so when you click on that this is going to adjust and shift a little bit towards this side and it's not going to be in the normal alignment of how the layers usually be so when you do that it means that you have clipped the effect only apply the previous selection of the bottom layer so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come and do some adjustments so i could add some yellows just like that then i could come and change you can see it is only affecting the selected area that we had initially before so i could come and now add some science if at all i wish to so depending on what i'm trying going for so you can see the before and after it is only and only affecting uh, the selected area and it is not affecting the overall image in this case so i'm sure you guys uh, another instance for using uh, the clipping mask method in your images so that technique is going to be maybe if at all you have a new text and you want to wrap maybe an image within that text so we have seen 
numbers or letters that have maybe some graphics embedded into them so you can as well use the clipping option or apply clipping masks to those particular areas and embed those graphics in maybe that letter so what i'm going to do i'm going to come and i create a new document right here so i'm going to select the color as black then come and hit ok and just create it and this is the new document right here. I'm, go I'm just going to come and get my text and simply click and hold down the caps lock. And I'm just going to put in maybe Ronix. And I'm going to hold down the alternate, control, rather, and increase on the size. So I wanted this to be a caps lock. So I'm just going to delete that. Hold down caps lock and hit maybe Ronix. So if at all, I want to just going to move this hold down the alternate or you can use control and come and move this to maybe the middle so if at all I want to embed a color to this text or add a graphic to this text I'm just going to come right here so you can see the text is more of a selection of uh, this mask so Meaning, we will, if at all we want to add a given effect to this area, it means that we're just going to come and clip the image into this area. So I'm just going to come and I look for my folder. So I'm just going to come and get any random image that I want to clip uh, to this text. So I'm, I'm just going to drag and drop it right there. So you can see that I have dragged and dropped it, so I could even come and adjust it to fit my text so i want to clip this effect into that text so i can come right here and hold down after placing it hit enter it is going to be placed so i can i could hold down the alternate and clip it to my text you can see that this has been clipped to this very particular text and we have some graphics and we have added some beautiful feel to this image so basically this is how a clipping mask was, works in photoshop and if at all this is helpful to you you can use it in different instances maybe color grading and maybe correcting light issues in your images i'm ronix from ronix photographer and if at all you have loved this don't forget to like this video so that youtube can push it to more people out there and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time. And I'll see you in yet another tutorial. And don't forget to keep clipping and keep creating.